Hey everybody, this is Allie from Wildcrafted Spa Wild Organics. I'm here to do the uh, gratuity video I promised you. Now, gratuity, tipping. Everybody wonders, should I or shouldn't I tip my massage therapist? Well, I say that's a yes and no question. If you are working for somebody else, like at a spa or a clinic, Obviously, they're not making everything that is being charged to you, the consumer. So, it would be a good idea to tip them, especially if you liked their service. It doesn't have to be a lot, just anything showing your gratitude that you can afford. Um, now, on the flip side of that, if they work for somebody else in a medical setting, say at a hospital or a rehab clinic, it could be a very bad idea to tip them because then it could be seen as a kickback. Uh, every state's different, so you might want to check with them to see if that's a possibility. A lot of people who, a lot of massage therapists who work in those medical settings, they don't want tipped anyway. They're generally getting paid a little bit better, and especially if they're being billed for insurance, they can't be tipped. At least that's my understanding. Now, what if, okay, you own your own business. Well, hopefully, the person who is owning their own spa or clinic, even if it's out of their own home, they're charging enough to make a living wage. Hopefully, they're not shortchanging themselves. So, in that respect, I would say no. Don't worry about tipping them because they should be making charging enough that that's not necessary. Of course, if you want to, by all means, go ahead. No one's going to smack your hand and say, no, no, no. <laughs> um, now that that's out of the way, excuse me, I just had dinner. <laughs> uh, some other questions that massage clients have. Body hair, the ever Oh, I forgot to shave my legs today. Please forgive me. I don't care if you shaved your legs or shaved your back or anything like that. Honestly, stubble? I'd rather avoid that. I'd rather you just have long hair <laughs> than to have that stubble. Obviously, if you have it, I'll still work on you. It's not, honestly not a big deal. It's not a big deal either way. If you have a lot of hair in a certain area, then it just means more oil or lotion that needs to be applied so no one's getting pinched. Other than that, it's honestly not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Although, that reminds me, side note, if you're getting a body scrub or a spot scrub, I would seriously wait until after you get that scrub, especially if there's salt in the scrub. Wait till after your scrub to shave or wax. It's a bad stinging idea. <laughs> it's going to sting a lot. Don't do it. Now, if you want to do it like the day before, two days before, whatever, it's a different story. But um, the morning of, skip. Skip the shave if you're going to get scrubbed. Well, I hope you have a good day, and I will see you guys later. Bye.